So in this video, we're going to talk about 2,4-DMP poisoning. Um, so I don't know, maybe if you're in an organic chemistry lab or I don't know, you're at work or something, whether that's in the industry or something, and you might have gotten 2,4-DMP or 2,4-Dinitrophenol in your system, uh, this is essentially what occurs. So I have a schematic diagram of the electron transport chain. And the details in this, in, in, in with respect to electron transport chain is not what's important. We're just talking about the mechanism of, of, of the drug itself and, co and causing um, death, essentially, if the concentrations reach a certain amount. So in the electron transport chain in mitochondria, we have four complexes. And essentially, we are using electrons, taking energy from the electrons to synthesize H plus ions from the matrix into the intermembrane space. So essentially we have, oh, that didn't go well, but essentially we have a buildup of H plus ions in the intermembrane space. Right. So again, the details are not important. Again, complex one gives us about four H plus ions uh, from taking the energy from electrons into uh, the intermembrane space. Complex three gives us gives us about four, and complex four gives us about uh, complex four gives us about uh, two H plus. So the idea is that we are taking we're put in H plus ions into the intermembrane space. So eventually, and let me, eventually these H plus ions are gonna come to complex five, also called ATP synthase. And we're gonna use the proton gradient to drive energy for phosphorylation of ADP uh, to ATP. Mm -hmm. So that is the whole concept behind us pushing H plus ions into the intermembrane space. Now, what happens if you actually uh, ingest 2,4-dinatrophenol uh, at, you know, high concentrations, per se? So what occurs is that 2,4-DMP, and the structure looks like this. What happens when you grab when when you ingest too much two four DMP? It actually we term that we term it as uncouplers. So it actually takes one of the protons gets protonated and we form this structure. Now what happens with this structure is that it easily let me kind of highlight this in red it easily goes across the intermembrane space because it's more hydrophobic than anything now so it's it easily diffuses across the membrane without having right so it simply takes the electrons that were supposed to go to atp synthase I'm sorry, not the electrons, but the hydrogen ions that's supposed to go to ATP synthase to synthesize our ATP. Now that is no longer happening because we're getting these protonations of these oxygens and they're diffusing across the membrane. So as a result, we have decrease in ATP synthesis. So as a result of a decrease in ATP synthesis, we lose our energy, which is really bad for us. And we term it on synthetic, we turn it synthetic uncoupler so this is a synthetic uncoupler so what that means is that we typically view atp synthase or complex 5 as its own entity coupled to the electron transport chain that consists of complexes one through four so they work together so these work in pushing the electrons uh pushing the hydrogen ions to the intermembrane space in order for atp synthase to do its job right but now those hydrogen ions, even though they're being pushed, they're not they're not getting um, absorbed by ATP synthase anymore. Instead, 2,4-DMP is doing that job for it. And so this is why ingesting 2,4-dinatrophenol uh, at high rates or high concentrations is deadly.
shuts the electron transport chain down, no ATP synthesized. 